Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be look two with my NYX Swear By It palette. We are taking five looks, doing a video on it. So, here we are. Very rainbow. I do this series quite often. If you are new to my channel, I will take a palette, usually at something bigger, where I can get a vast variety of looks, and I will take and I will do five looks with them. So, you know, last time I did a pretty neutrally look, and now we're gonna step it up a bit and we're gonna use these red tones in here. So this is super gorgeous. Um, definitely one of my favorite looks to do. And yeah, so if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I also am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So give me a thumbs up and all, it always helps me out so much when you do. It allows YouTube to share my videos more out there. Okay, so I know my brows look really dark on camera. They don't look as dark in real life, so. Um, but if you wanna see swatches and everything, they're gonna be in the first video, so I'll link that down below for you. And yeah. So um, just a little briefing, this palette retails for $35, comes with 40 shades. We're going to be directing more towards on the red pink side and creating a super fun look from there. So we're going to zoom up and get started. So I did not do a full face today. I'm kind of giving my skin a little bit of a break. Um, it's been going through some stuff. We're going to go ahead and first prime the eyes with a little bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is something that I do quite often. If you don't have MAC Painterly Paint Pot, especially right now, don't feel obligated to go buy it. Just use some concealer that you have in your collection. So I'm just going to put that on. I find that um, like a paint pot like this or a concealer um, works better than say like, like a clear primer like um, Urban Decay Primer Potion or like Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I know like way back in the day, do you guys remember? Everybody had Urban Decay Primer Potion and it came in like a really weird looking bottle. Do you remember that? Like, oh my gosh, those were the days, I tell you. We're blending that out and what I like to do, I like to set my primer to just make sure that it just, I don't like when I'm putting on eyeshadow and then there's like this like skipping or whatever. Ugh, ooh, I don't like it. So I'm just gonna go in with like a cream colored eyeshadow, not from this palette because I just don't really find that there is one that really works well. There's like a lighter shade, but it's very yellow undertone and I just want something more neutral. You can also use uh, setting powder for this as well. I just have this palette on hand. In this this palette, I should tell you, is the Smashbox LA Cover Shot palette. Looks like this, and it like I don't know what are this what is this called? But like super pretty. I wish I was on a beach right now, but I'm not. But this is what the palette looks like. I got this in my April boxy charm. I will link that video down below if you want to go see how I think how I feel about it and everything like that. Um, boxy charm is a great way to try products for not a lot of money. Their base box is like 25 bucks and you get to try like five new products. And so if you really are interested in trying new products but don't want to break the bank, you get five full size products with boxy charm. And I'm not sponsored obviously because like I'm really a small YouTuber. But it's just it's a good way to try out products at a budget, and with me, I'm cutting back a lot of my normal like makeup expenses, and BoxyCharm is a great way to treat yourself, and a, also a great way to just um, try new products. And they're usually brand names, like I mean this month there's going to be like an Hourglass product, Glam Glow, stuff like that. So definitely a great recommendation, especially right now if you do have the extra $25 a month. Do it. If you can't afford it, don't. Okay, do not strap yourself for cash. <laughs> My lips are feeling a little dry right now, so we're going to use, um, we're going to go into the lovely briefcase. <laughs> this is so fun. I got a question about this, but I don't, oops, I'm not sure if it's still available. Maybe the, like on the Lip Smackers website, maybe there's like a briefcase available, but um, yeah, these are all like flavors. I don't wanna, I don't know, I don't know if I should call them scents or flavors, but they are all available um, like year round. There's no like holiday shade, like scents or anything, flavors. Maybe we'll go with cotton candy today. Yeah, this is the cotton candy one. This literally just brings me back to my childhood. I love using it. Oh, this smells like my five, like this smells like my childhood. Ooh, that's a little, it's kind of tinted. 
as you can tell it's pretty fair but sometimes the color transfers sometimes it doesn't i have a blue skittle one that does tint your lips a little blue it's okay it's fine so at the at the time that i'm filming this um it you're, I do film a little bit ahead of schedule. This isn't supposed to be up to the 12th, but um, today is May 1st. It's a Friday. Yay. Um, and I was just kind of thinking um, about the James Charles influencer. Like, is it called Instant Influencer? His, like, YouTube series. Like, his competition series. Started watching it. I didn't think I was going to like I try not to like feed into that kind of stuff but I'm actually kind of enjoying it and it's giving me like a perspective on how to like step outside the box and whatnot so um, if you haven't it's totally free too which is nice um, especially right now yeah, if you are interested in that it's pretty good there's not like I don't if you're not a fan of James Charles you probably won't like it I'm kind of neutral on him like I don't really go out of my way to watch him like ever yeah I saw Jen Loves Reviews talking about it and I was like you know what I'm actually gonna watch it like I originally thought like no I'm not watching that mm. I'm actually enjoying it so if you need a good quarantine activity or whatever go check that out now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow we're gonna focus on this part of the palette very low-key and whatnot. So I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH36 brush. Can you see that? Yeah. Just a nice little crease brush. Hmm. We're going to go with this mauve shade at the top. It looks pretty neutral, but it like has like a rosy undertone, which is super cool. So I'm just going to apply this in the crease. And not a whole lot is showing up just because it's a similar shade to the paint pot. But I am going to build it up anyways because I can kind of see it, you know? See that? Yeah. These shadows from NYX I am very impressed with. I have tried some other shadows in like, like probably years ago. And they were all right. But I am just overall really impressed with this palette. It's so beautiful. And I definitely recommend it if you are looking for kind of like an all over the place palette. Like it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of like a rainbow palette. I mean, it's not bad. But it also gives you enough neutral options where it's not like, okay, I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, but like, what else do I do? And you have some really nice neutral shades to kind of like complement in there and just, you're able to work with it on an everyday basis. Especially for someone like me who isn't always like super big into color. Like, I, I love the idea of a rainbow palette, but I have to be real, like, how often am I going to use it? So, there we go. We're going to go into this beautiful red shade right here. It's like a red pinky shade. It's, kinda, it's a hybrid. It's in between. I don't know. Now, my brushes are super dirty. They will get cleaned. I promise. I just procrastinate. But I'm going to use this one. This is from Lavish. It's the tapered blending brush. This also came in my April Boxy Charm. We're going to give this another shot. Um, I did not enjoy a couple of their brushes from this collection it came in like a five piece set i enjoyed i think two of them or three of them we're also going to apply this but we're focusing a little lower on the crease i love this kind of shade for the eyes i think it is so beautiful like a cranberry color yes but i think that it just really complements the eyes I really like doing this with maybe like a bronze or like a gold. I think that is so beautiful. Um, I don't really think we're going to be doing anything like that today. But that is one of my favorite looks to do is to just use a little bit of like a maroon gold shade. Like cranberry shade. Sorry, I can't talk. And then do a little bit of some like a little bit of gold or whatever on the lid. Or champagne or bronze. There's a whole lot of those. <laughs> so there we go. This brush is not blending too badly, so I love that. We really do. Okay. I tried to give, I wanted to give it kind of like a second shot before like I was going to say that it wasn't good. There were a couple brushes in here. I have them up here right now. This one, like the smudger brush was like a little pokey and I do not like that under my eyes. And then this brush is just like, let me just show you. This is just not something I'm ever going to use. It just, I just won't use it. Adios. Um, we're going to use this BH Cosmetics brush. It's a little like a stampy crease brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of this deep brown. This is the deepest brown in the palette, just right here. And I want to use just a little bit, not too much. Seriously, not too much. 
and we're just gonna kind of stamp it just like that like I'm barely using any motion I'm holding the end of the brush just like that and then I'm just gonna go in and then blend it out just a bit because we don't just want like a whole patch of like brown <laughs> that's just not fun it also deepens up the look but it's you still have that little um, essence of like that cranberry shade which we probably will go back into I've also been working more on like trying not to like cover up my eye or like get it out of frame or anything because I really hate going back and editing and being like I gotta edit this all out now <laughs> it's just it's not fun this side looks better in my opinion <laughs> okay um we're actually gonna go back to that cranberry shade let's see if i can find the brush i put it away yep we're going to go back to the cranberry shade and i'm going to focus it more like towards the middle of the crease like that because i really don't want to lose that color that is just so gorgeous and i'm going to cheat up just a little bit because i do have um slightly hooded eyes and I just, I don't want to lose this color because this is like so beautiful. The time that I'm filming this, um, I want to talk about Instant Influencer for just a second. Uh, this whole video is not about Instant Influencer by any means. Um, they were talking about doing like full glam or whatever in like 30 minutes. And they were like, oh my God, I could never do that. I couldn't. And I just thought about all the times I had to get ready for work and I had 15 minutes to do a full face of makeup. I was the queen of multitasking and I was thinking like that's probably like the only like one of those challenges I could successfully do seriously like I was like a machine in, in some of those mornings I like even working when working in Ulta I was still pretty okay with it and I would just like and like doing my brows at the same time like not really but <laughs> I was always pretty good at it especially you know working a job where you have to look pretty presentable like you know a lot of these jobs that i worked you know i worked at ulta i worked at a jewelry store and you can't show up to work looking like you just roll out of bed you just can't and you know you have to look very presentable i mean ulta we were told that we had to come into work with makeup like we had to have our hair done we had to come in with a face of makeup i mean if we were doing like truck which is what we would do every friday um, we would come in really early and we would stock the store and unbox all the new products and stuff That was really fun overall like you had to come into work with a nice face of makeup Whether you had to be there at 7 a.m. Or 4 p.m. You know, so I don't know it was interesting to watch But I think for the lower lash line we're first gonna go in with this mm, I think we're gonna use this shade. It's like an orangey brown shade um, I think it kind of goes in well. I'm using why do people feel the need to zoom really fast, really fast on their trucks? I don't get it. And it's right outside my window. But this is the Luxie Flat Definer Brush. Looks like this. I'm pretty sure I got this in like an Ipsy way back in the day. But we're going to just pop this on the lower lash line. It's so pretty. And it kind of draws in that like pinky red aspect without going too much. You know, so I don't want to do like a fully like red look, but I do want to just incorporate it. This would be great. I mean, if you wanted to do it every day, you could also do it for like a date night, a special event. But option with this palette, options are endless. Seriously, I love that about this palette. I remember I got it. I think I got it like a little over a year ago. And this was just so beautiful. And I'm just so shocked at the at the quality of these colors too. I mean, yeah, there's a there's a couple duds here and there, but it's not overall a bad palette. Like they really there are really truly a lot of colors that swatch super well. So, hmm, let's go on the lid next. And I'm just gonna take this Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH41. Looks like this just a nice stiff flat shade of brush this is exactly what I want and we're gonna pile first this one on it's like a brownish it has kind of like a pinky kind of undertone to it like almost like the shimmer is a little bit like that this is very nice it's really packing on the brush nicely and then we're just gonna pat that on just like that 
This is a nice soft shade too. I love a good soft shimmer. But I'm not going to go all the way in. We're popping another shade on there on the inner part of the eye. And I'm not really someone that's all about like cut creases or anything if you're new here. Like I... I don't always feel very confident when I do a cut crease. I try them every once in a while, but like ultimately I kind of go back in my bubble and I do what I know and love. Yeah, I am working on stepping more out of my comfort zone. Yeah, just letting you know I'm not like a professional makeup artist. I just do this for fun. So we're going to go into this shade right here. It's like a lighter bronzy shade. It has like a rosy undertone, you know. Very cute. Again, pretty soft. It really packed on the brush nicely. This is a Moda brush I got in a BoxyCharm. I have a lot of products that I get from BoxyCharm. We piled that on there just a little bit. Super, super pretty. Um, I think lastly for the eyeshadow before we go into liner and lashes and lips, we're going to go into this shade right here. This is like the only light champagne shade. Up close you can see that it is pretty shimmery, but there are definitely flecks of like gold glitter in there. I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics angled brush and this is one of my favorite tricks. I probably do it in like every video. Bring a little bit of light down here. I don't like having my eyes too dark. And then I also should probably highlight the brow bone. We're using this shade right here, which is like a matte yellowy cream shade. I'm not a huge fan of that it's so yellowy undertoned, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. So we're just gonna do that. I feel like a look is not complete without a nice brow bone. Yes, okay. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead to liner and lashes. To finish this look off, we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero. This is just a mini I got in a sample, but we're gonna use it. I really like these 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils. I kind of prefer liquid liner over pencil liner, but I love going back to it. I just, I think it's really great practice, especially. I'm just going to do a little bit of a wing. It's not going to be super evident though. You know, I don't want to be like having like a huge wing. That's just not my, my thing. Just a little like, Ooh, like a, like you kind of have to take like a second look at it almost. And I just kind of take it like right where my like, I'm going to go really close like right here and I flick it out. You know, I don't create like where I don't make it really high. I just kind of follow my the natural shape of my eye. Kind of like that. I hope I didn't cut you out of the frame. There we go. Okay. Great pencil. These are a little pricey, like full, full size, but what would be cool if they did like a full collection of all their colorful liners and then they made it like this size. Ooh, that'd be a good holiday set. Urban Decay, if you see this and you think of that. Let me know. Um, <laughs> we're going to go with the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. This is not a very big tube because this was a birthday sample. Yes, okay. My birthday gift from Ulta was a mini mascara, but it's fine. I remember when I was working at Ulta, they kind of um, revamped the whole birthday gift idea thing. It changed every month, and they gave out at one time two full-size Ulta single shadows. I had one girl say, like, oh my god, I hate these. Why is this my birthday gift? I was like, I'm sorry. I was also the kind of person at Ulta to give a lot of old GWPs, which GWP stands for gift with purchase, and whenever they were from like a past catalog or whatever, and we had leftover, we were allowed to give them out. I was super generous with them. I loved doing that. Like I'd give like six free gifts away. I was that kind of person. <laughs> so, okay. We're gonna go on to lips. I wanna do bright pink. Maybe not, okay. That might be pretty. Okay, we're gonna go on this Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Back Talk. I back talk a lot. I used to when I was younger. Anyways. I'm still kind of sassy like that. I used to be very like, I still am, like I'm very, I don't really speak my mind a lot. I usually just kind of keep it hidden. And I've kind of learned to kind of stand up for myself more and do that. And so 
I'm actually quite proud of myself for that. So I've been working on that. So we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in the shade Saint Tropez. I do know this is an island or somewhere, somewhere, or a city maybe, I don't know. But this is a super pretty gloss. It gets like a purpley, but with like a gold glitter to it. And it's so gorgeous. I love the ABH formula. And we are doing it all natural here. We're not doing fillers. We're not doing, uh, we're not over trying our lips. We are just being humble and cute. So there you go. That is today's look. All right, you guys, um, more, three more looks are coming. Looks three, four, and five. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and let me know what you think. Do you have this palette? Do you love it? YouTube should be recommending a new video of mine. Um, so go check that out. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up, share it, and do what you gotta do. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.